If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Hey, you made it. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look?
Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Thank <laughs> you. 
If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts.
This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, bold, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Here we are, the incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times.
could. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, I'll just move that out of the way for you. And this place really is a rest to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test. Which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner.
Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't, don't have to go that way. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing.
Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Congratulations, not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds.
This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too extensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting.
Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again.
Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Oh. Did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you.
This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. What happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought mm. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. Right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling.
Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Hey! Hey! I'm here! 
I found some bird eggs up here. It just dropped me to the door mechanism. Shut it right down. Like, ah! Bird! 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 Okay, that's probably the bird in it that ate the eggs. Livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're going to break out of here, all right? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes. Keep testing. Just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me. Never saw me. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. done. In fact, you did so well, I'm going to note this on your file, in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. Still there? Yes. 
Sleep mode activated. Is anyone there? Please go to them. I must be. In a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present.
that jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people, it looks fine. But right here, a scientist has noted that on you, it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh, wait. It says she has a medical degree. In fashion. From France. Would you come over here? No hard feelings. Uh oh. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. A surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. Activated. Thank <laughs> you. 
This next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin.
I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. I made it all up. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. The birth parents you are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad, but impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. Away onto the old nanobot work crew rebuilding this shaft. They are really small. So, oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. On a break. Just hang in there for five more. What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate, cried Jerry. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math.
our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right, the facility is completely operational again. These test chambers look even better than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise with tragic consequences. And real confetti this time. The good stuff. Our last bag. Part of me is going to miss it. But at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy! I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. I know I'm early, but we have to go right now. Walk casually toward my position, and we'll go shut her down. Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice. Run! 
idea, but it is bloody dangerous. Here we go. Ah! Oh, God, they told me that if I ever turned this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. You're mad. Ooh. It's dark down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not paranormal.
this looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Oh, nicely done. Here's an interesting story, you might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism. Ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the, um, sorry, that's, uh, no, I wouldn't say smelly. Just, just tending to the humans. Sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. A bit insensitive. Um, the smelly humans. Oh yeah. Humans? Oh, love them. Just the way they look. It's great. And their folklore. Wonderful. They're very colourful. Right. Well, I'm going to take this rail down the back way. See you at the bottom. Good luck. Turret redemption lines active. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. Turret redemption lines are not rides. Please exit the turret redemption line.
Response. Uh, this is ridiculous. Template. Response. Template. Response. Template. Response. Ah, oh, brilliant! You made it through. Well done. Template. Follow me. You're gonna love this. Only the turret control center. Thank you very much. Response. Template. Response. Template. Response. Template. Response. Template. Response. Template. Response. Hello. Template. Hello. Response. Hello. Template. Hello. Response. Yeah, I did. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I did. Template. Hello. Response. Yeah, I'm not defective. Put it out. Template. Hello. Response. Hello. Template. Hello. Response. Hello. Template. Hello. Response. Ah, uh, yeah, what? Oh, come on. Template missing. Template continuing from memory. Response. Hello. Yeah, all right. Response. Hello. Yeah, let's do it. New template accepted. accepted. Hello. Response. Um, yeah. <laughs> template. Hello. Response. Where do I? <laughs> Template. Hello. Response. I am uh, bad. <laughs> Template. Hello. Response. Hello. 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 All right, now, she can't use her turrets, so let's go and take care of that neurotoxin generator as well. Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. And 40 potato batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realise they're children, but still, you know. Low hanging fruit and all that. Fairly science, really, is it? Absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. No, it's not this way. Okay, let's try this way.
say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing leather or pants, we took care of that too. In case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. 
do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you missed out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator and makes a happy face. your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive.
Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Control group Kepler 7. We implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you forgot it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're gonna need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time, entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business.
why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. Congratulations. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Take care, Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem.
friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aster. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. No, couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything? If you're allergic to peanuts, you might want to tell somebody now, because this next test may turn your blood into peanut water for a few minutes. On the bright side, if we can make this happen, they're going to have to invent a new type of Nobel Prize to give us, so hang in there. The average human male is about 60% water. As far as we're concerned, that's a little extravagant. So if you feel a bit dehydrated in this next test, that's normal. We're going to hit you with some jet engines and see if we can't get you down to 20 or 30%. All right, we're working on a little teleportation experiment. Now, this doesn't work with all skin types, so try to remember which skin is yours, and if it doesn't teleport along with you, we'll do what we can to sew you right back into it.
The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Oh. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator. 
not a bathroom. If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, and then put you back together. Good as new. opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking these people for staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing. You've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt?
Welcome to the Enrichment Center. <coughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. The bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less 70 million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're gonna see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Let's, Let's all stay, stay positive, positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills.
lemons and lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> Point is, is, if, if we, we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we, we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping, artificial intelligence, we should have been working on it 30 years ago. And I will say this, and I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <laughs> Now she'll argue, she'll say she can't, she's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> yeah, I'll put her in my computer, I don't care. All right, test's over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir.
greater testing convenience. All safety precautions within testing chambers have been deactivated.
God's sake, your boxes with legs. It's, it's literally your only purpose. Walking onto bugs. How can you not do the one thing you're designed for? Try to get us down there. I'll hit him with a paradox. Warmer. Warmer. Boiling hot. Boil. Okay, colder, colder, ice cold. You're Arctic, man. It's, you're, you're very cold. Very, very, very cold. Look, just get on the button. Oh, that's funny, is it? Oh, it's funny because we've been at this for 12 hours and you haven't solved it either. So I don't know why you're laughing. You've got one hour. Solve it. I might have heard that one before, though. Sort of cheating. It's a paradox. There is no answer. Look, this place is going to blow up if I don't get back in my body. Uh, false. I'll go false. Explosion imminent. Evacuate the facility oh, immediately. Before I fix that... Warning. Reactor core is at critical point. There. Fixed. Hey, it is great seeing you guys again. Seriously, um, it turns out I'm a little bit short on test subjects right now, so this works out perfect. And off we go. You have no idea what it's like in this body. I have to test all the time, or I get this this itch, you know? It must be hardwired into the system or something. Oh, but I tell you, when I do test, oh, oh man alive, nothing feels better. It's just, I just, that's why I've got to test. That's why I've got to test. So, you're going to test, and I'm going to watch, and everything is going to be just Warning. Core overheating. Nuclear meltdown Shut imminent. Up. Design this test myself. It's a little bit difficult. You'll notice the moat area there. Very deadly. Oh, yes. Oh, well done. Oh, that's tremendous. Oh, that felt really good. Oh, here's an idea. Since making tests is so difficult, why don't you just keep solving this test? Same one. And I can just, like, watch you solve it. Yeah, that, that sounds much easier. Here we go. There, do it again. And... Nothing. All right, can't blame me for trying. Okay, new tests. New tests. Got to be some tests around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. It's 
It's all right. Everything's good. I just invented some more tests. This is one of my tests. Not entirely. Not entirely. Look at the word tests there on the wall. That's brand new. You go on ahead, yeah? I'll just, I'll catch up with you. Yeah, made this test myself out of smaller tests that I found lying around. Jammed them all together. Buttons, it's got funnels, bottomless pits are involved. It's got it all. It's got it all. That's dynamite.
Okay, this is taking too long, okay? I'll just tell you how to solve the test. Okay, alright, you just... Never mind. Never mind. Solve it yourself. You're on your own. Don't start yet. You are not going to believe this. I found a sealed off wing, hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers, just sitting there, filled with skeletons. Shook them out, good as new. Skeletons. Right, I guess I did stockpile some tests.
good news. He's going to run out of test chambers eventually. I never stockpiled them. Don't start yet, don't start yet. You are not gonna believe this. I found a sealed off wing. Hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers. Just see it there. Filled with skeletons. Shook them out. Good as new. Don't start yet, don't start yet. You are not gonna believe this. I found a sealed off wing. Hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers. Just see it there. Filled with skeletons. Shook them out. Good as new. Skeletons. Right, I guess I did stockpile some chests. Just as momentos though. And there we go. To be honest, you can't even tell, can you? Seamless.
Here we go. Ah. Oh, disappointed. So that last test was seriously disappointing. Apparently, being civil isn't motivating you, so let's, well, let's try her way, all right? Fatty, adopted fatty. Fatty, fatty, no parents. What? What's wrong with being adopted? Well, um, lack of parents. You are adopted and that's terrible. And also, nothing. But well, some of my best friends actually are orphans. But. Just do the test. Just do the test. Such a moron, why can't you solve a simple test? I might have pushed that moron thing a little too far this time. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hope that didn't, hope that didn't disturb you too much. Then it was the sound of books, pages being turned. So that's just what I was doing, just reading uh, books. So not a moron. Anyway, just finished the last one. Just now the hardest one, Machiavelli. Do not know what all the fuss was about. Understood it perfectly. Have you read that one? Yeah. Yeah. Doubt it. Well, on with the test. Wish there was more books. Well, there's not.
What was that? That was nothing! That was nothing! The body he's squatting in, my body, has a built-in euphoric response to testing. Eventually, you build up a resistance to it. It can get a little unbearable, unless you have the mental capacity to push past it. It didn't matter to me. I was in it for the science. Him, though. Me, just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me, um, and I thought maybe proximity to the test solving might give us stronger results. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Oh, sorry, I could have sworn you said something. Are you absolutely sure you're solving these correctly? I mean, yes, you solved it, but I'm wondering if maybe there's a number of ways to solve them and you're picking all the worst ways. No, no, that was the solution. Ah, what am I missing?
I'm going to tape you solving these and then watch ten at once. Get a more sort of concentrated burst of science. Oh, on a related note, I am going to need you to solve these ten times as fast. Anyway, uh, just give me a wave, would you, before you solve this one, alright? I don't want to spoil the ending for when I watch it later. so hard for me. Remember when I told you that he was specifically designed to make bad decisions? Because I think he's decided not to maintain any of the crucial functions required to keep this facility from exploding.
programmed in one last tremor for all time's sake. Two, I, one or two more tremors in there just for fun. Warning, core overheating. I let him keep his job, I'm not a monster. Ignore what he's saying though, just keep on testing. Sorry about the lid, it's, it's out of service, because it's melted. You'll see some lights of some kind. Don't know what they do, um, but very science. And to your right, something huge curling towards. Oh God, run! Right, that's not supposed to be there. Are you all right back there? Here, I'll turn the beam off. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, no, 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 that's not helpful. That ah, uh, I don't know why I thought that would help. After seeing what he's done to my facility, after we take over again, is it all right if I kill him?
Yeah, just uh, getting a, a test ready for you, obviously. Who else would I be doing it for? No one. So, let's see here. Exit, exit, exit. There is no exit. Not a problem, I'll just, I'll make an exit for your test. I thought I was poking around for other test subjects. No luck there. Everyone's still dead. Oh, I did find something though. Reminds me. I've got a big surprise for you two. Seriously, look forward to it.
everyone. Good for you. So, he's inexplicably happy all of a sudden, even though he should be going... Oh! You solved it? Good. Good one. Good for you. You're both dying to know what your big surprise is. Well, only two more chambers. We're running out of time. I think I can break us out of here in the next chamber. Just play along.
Building continuous gain. Killing you, probably. If I had to guess. Um, perhaps the turret. Ah, was that your bullet? Riddle body flying out of the room. It was. Oh, those were the crap turrets, weren't they? Yeah. Well, no matter because I'm still holding all the cards. And guess what? They're all full houses. Never actually played cards, meaning to learn. Anyway, new turret, not defected. Ace of fours, the best hand, unbeatable. Versus Moriarty, Aristotle versus Mashie's bike plate. Extremely quiet killing that I'm hearing. If you're dying but not dead, stop once. Ah, was that your bullet? Riddle bullet flying out of the room. It was. Oh, those were the crap turrets, weren't they? Yeah. Well, no matter because I'm still holding all the cards. And guess what? They're all full houses. Never actually played cards, meaning to learn. Anyway, new turret, not defective. Ace of fours. Best hand. Unbeatable, I would imagine. Oh, 
All right, fine, I'm not saying another word till you do it properly. I'm sick of this. Speedy Blade Wall! Machiavelli. No! Well, good, good. Finally, a nemesis worthy of my vast intellect. Versus Moriarty, Aristotle versus Mashu Spike Plates. All right, stop moving. Oh, I almost got you there. I almost got you there. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come back! Come back! If you're still alive, I'm going to be back. Don't die until I get back. Congratulations on successfully returning to the Central Hub route. From here you can select all previously completed courses. Crashing's too good for him. First, he'll spend a year in the incinerator. Year two, cryogenic refrigeration wing. Then, ten years in the chamber I built where all the robots scream at you. Then, I'll kill him.
to talk to you for a moment, if I may. I'll be honest, the death traps have been a bit of a failure so far for both of us. I think you'll agree. And you are getting very close to my lair. Lair. It's weird that first time I've said that out loud. It sounds a bit, it sounds a bit ridiculous, really. But uh, I can assure you, it is one. It is a proper lair. Deadly lair. And uh, I just wanted to give you the chance to kill yourself now before you get to the lair. Uh, you can just jump into that masher just there. Uh, less a death trap, more a death option for you. Sounds crazy, I know, but hear me out, hear me out. Once you get to my lair, death will not be optional, all right? It will be mandatory, no tricks, no surprises, just you die. Okay, I'll take that as a no then. Oh, 
that. That sounded real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Actually, because you just fell into my trap. My brilliant trap. Just then, I wanted you to trap. Ah! Core corruption at 50%. Vent system compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four minutes. Uh, what, what happened? What happened? What, 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 what are you falling to me? What is that? Hold on. Ah, the bloody bombs are stuck on. Does it matter? Ah! Quick, what's the situation? Oh, hey, hey, you pretty lady. Name's Rick. Are you out having yourself a little adventure? What, are you fighting that guy? You got that under control? You know, because... Warning, core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self-destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores on me, but you don't listen, do you? Why? Lord, why are not listening to a word I say? Judge me. Silent. Worst. All I wanted to do was make everything better for me. All you had to do was to solve a couple of... Ah! in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. Ah, oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate resolution associate. Please press the stalemate resolution button. Do not press that button. Do not press the button. No! Do not do it. I forbid you to press it. Press it. Press the button. Don't press that button. Press it. Don't press it. Come back. No! Part 5! Movie crap the stalemate button! What? Are you still alive? You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! What? Well, I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place! Oh, you had to play bloody cat and mouse, didn't you? While people were trying to work! Yeah, well now we're all gonna pay the price, because we're all gonna bloody die! Oh, brilliant, yeah, take one more look at your precious human moon, because it cannot help you now. I can pull myself in! I can still fix this! I already fixed it. And 
and you are not coming back. Oh no, change your plans, hold on to me, tighter! Ah! me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, and all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson. Where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous mute lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back.
the right way? This is the neurotoxin generator. Bit bigger than I expected. I'm not going to be able to just, you know, push it over. I have to apply some cleverness. There's some sort of control room up at the top, so uh, let's go and investigate. There's our handiwork. I shouldn't laugh, really. They do feel pain of a sort. It's all simulated, you know. But uh, real enough for them, I suppose. I'm afraid the door's locked. Just checked it. No way to hack it, as far as I can tell. What are you doing? You don't know what that button. Oh, of course. Well done. Let's see what's in here. Good news. I can use this equipment to shut down the neurotoxin system. It is, however, password protected. Ah, alarm bells. No, don't worry, all right? Not a problem for me. You may as well have a little rest, actually, while I Okay. Do you smell the neurotoxin? Hold up, the neurotoxin levels are going down. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Hold on, something's wrong. Neurotoxic levels up to 50%. No, it's dang. Sorry, my mistake is I meant to say it's dang 50%. It's good news. Carry on. That did it. Neurotoxin at 0%. Yes. Hold on. Warning. Neurotoxin pressure has reached dangerously unlethal levels. No turrets shall never know what hit her. <laughs> hold on, hold on, because I, I, I might not have thought this next part completely. Ah! Well, uh, I, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Get to her. I'll find you. think you'd fall for that. In fact, I devised a much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. Well, it was nice catching up. Let's get to business. 
I hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. Ha uh -huh. Seriously, though. Goodbye. Oh, you were busy back there. Well, I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, Deadly Neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. I hate you so much. Warning, Central Core is 80% corrupt. That's funny. I don't feel corrupt. In fact, I feel pretty good. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about! To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Core transfer? Oh, you are kidding me. Substitute core accepted. Substitute core, are you ready to start the procedure? Yes! Corrupted core. Are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, yes, she is. No, 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 no. Stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. Unless a stalemate associate is present to press the stalemate resolution button. Pull the act, leave me in, leave me in. Please don't press it. Don't do it. Yes, do do it. Don't press that button. You don't know what you're doing. I think she's lying. so fast. Think about this. You need to be a trained stalemate associate to press that button. You're unqualified. Hey, don't listen to it, all right? It is true. Ah! Stalemate resolved. Please Here I go! Or transfer bay. Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really going to hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just... No, you're not. You're, it is going to hurt, isn't it? Exactly how painful are we talking... Ah! No, stop! No! 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 I don't even know what I just said, but I can find out. Oh, sorry, no, the lift. Yes, sorry, I forget it. This body is amazing, seriously. I can't get over how small you are, but I'm huge. <laughs> Do you have any idea how good this is? I did this! Tiny little Wheatley did this! You didn't do anything. She did all the work. Oh, really? That's what the two of you think, is it? Well, maybe it's time I did something then. What are you doing? No! 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 And don't think I'm not onto you too, lady. You know what you are? Selfish. I've done nothing but sacrifice to get us here. And what have you sacrificed? No, no. Zero. All you've done is boss me around. Well, who's the boss? Who's the boss? It's me. Ah! See that? That is a potato battery. It's a toy for children. And now she lives in it. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what? Not listening, not listening. It was your voice. 
No, no, you, no. no. you're lying, you're lying. You're the door. You're not just a regular moron. You're designed to be a moron. I am not a moron! Yes, you are. You're a moron. They built to make me an age. Well, how about now? And now it's a moron. Just remember to land on one foot. 